Hello, this is Travis Sabin from Adobe Analytics Product Management, and I want to show you a quick video today of one of the great new features coming to Analysis Workspace this fall, the Fallout Visualization. So after selecting Fallout from my Visualization panel, I drop it into the Freeform panel, and I get this um, new visualization where I can start building a new funnel report. And by default, it starts uh, with all my visits at the visitor level, I can come in and I can change that in the gear icon to be just visits um, or visitor as visitors the default. And if I don't want to start with all visits, if I start with, if I want to start with a different point, I can uncheck this box and it will get rid of it. And so now I can come in and start adding dimension items to build my funnel report. So I'm going to add uh, specific funnel steps and start building this out. And quickly, I have this uh, funnel report that's building and showing how my customers are progressing through this funnel that I've created. The green showing those that actually fell through and performed the action, and the gray bar showing those that did not, with the immediate uh, percentages comparing against the total of the funnel. If I hover over, you can see I'm getting a little tooltip to help me identify some additional information. I can see the visitor count at that particular point. And I can also compare the success, not only for um, the total funnel for, to that point, but I can also compare against the previous checkpoint as well. And so there's some great um, quick on the fly uh, breakdowns to help me see what's working and what's not. Now, not only in this can I add these items here, but if, for example, in this case, in my app, I want people to come to my camera and share to their cameras and share photos, but they can either choose from existing photos or they can come in and create a, take a selfie right away. And here, if I add right below or above with this little black line, it will combine them into an or checkpoint, um, where now I have, after going to the main view, they either went to the camera roll or to the camera, and it combines them as an or checkpoint for me. And so this is great when I know that customers are doing one thing or the other, I can combine them together. If I'm not interested in people who are taking selfies, then I can come and just right click or just click on this little X and it'll be gone and it'll adjust the funnel on the fly. And I can do the same thing with any other step. And over here I can come, if for some reason I think they're doing the camera at a later stage, I can click on this little gray section and I can move it any other place in the funnel that I think might be happening and it'll adjust and build on the fly and I can do that with any of my steps. And the last thing I want to show you in this overview is um, by right clicking on a particular step I get a couple of options. I can trend a touch point and I can build a line graph showing me um, my unique visitors at this particular stage over time with some pre-built um, anomaly detection or um, I can right click and I can do a fall through report to see what people were doing in between these two steps because this is an eventual report that eventually people went from the main view to the item info page. But if I want to know exactly what they did after the main view, I can build this new um, freeform table that will show me their immediate next steps before eventually coming and completing this particular checkpoint. And on the contrary, if I do fall out, I can get the exact same table, but for those at 36.7% that did not complete um, this step, if they never went to item info page, then what did they do instead? And I can come and as this is the freeform table, I can adjust and build and manipulate it in any which way that I would like. Um, and so this is a great way to gather quick insights um, and identify some key things that are happening within um, my particular app or site that I'm an analyzing at this point. So these are just some of the great uh, features that exist uh, for this new Fallout visualization coming this fall. I hope you like it.